Audubon met Lucy Bakewell on the farm next to Mill Grove. They married and almost immediately went to Louisville. What her feelings were of going out to the, the frontier with, with Audubon, we don't really know, but she seems to have always been a good helpmate and also a very resourceful person. He would travel quite a bit and he would leave his wife to survive. I mean, she was the breadwinner for the family. She could make money teaching or as a governess when Audubon did not have the resources himself. His wife was right there as kind of the rock on which he builds his foundation of the birds on. The Audubons had two sons, John Woodhouse and Victor. He loved his family, he loved his wife and children, but he spent a lot of time away from his wife and kids. There were years in which he would not see them. They would stay in, in Louisville while he was down in Louisiana. Eventually, Lucy came and joined him in Louisiana, and then he was off to Europe, intent on finding a publisher and an engraver. Lucy kept writing, saying, can I, can I come? Uh, he'd say, well, I don't really have the means yet. And it kind of causes a rub between the two of them. And in fact, she gives him an ultimatum to come back home or stay in Europe. And he actually comes back home. And from that point on, they're pretty much inseparable. And in later years, they all worked together almost as a team. I mean, Lucy would sell subscriptions. John Woodhouse would sell subscriptions. Victor was in Europe superintending the publication. He relied on his two sons to supply some drawings. It was almost a family business. Each had their own responsibilities once they had come of age. 